Hey guys, Trent here with the Rogue Outdoorsman channel. If you're new to this channel, hope you enjoy some of our shed hunting videos. We've got a lot of different playlists on the channel. Stay tuned. These are some sheds that I picked up after work this last week. And then that pile back there is from that last week. And I'll probably post that video next week because I got something exciting to show you guys. So stay tuned. Well, just following these elk tracks and came into this clearing. Got a little super skinny. <laughs> that thing is tiny. Little raghorn, but that's, I think that's a hard white from last year. It's been snowing on us. In fact, you can still see a few flurries. But the sun just came out. My cousin and his kids are to the west of us. They came up from Gilbert. I sent them to a spot. Maybe they'll pick something. Well, just came around this corner. Looks like they got a deer shed. Might be from last year. Yep. That's a hard white from last year. Not a bad one, not a giant. Let's get some pictures. Lots of bull tracks. You can see those bull tracks just right around there. So I'm looking for some antlers. Hopefully there's some browns in here. Let's get some pictures, get this thing picked up. Well, hopefully you can hear me. It's a little windy. I just picked this up about 10 minutes ago. I'm walking through the bottom of this draw. And I think that's another hard white deer shed right there. Looks like another right side. Oh, that's a lot better buck. That's two years old. It's got a sweet main beam and check out that G4 just weak on that back G3. But super cool buck, that's two. I've been following a bunch of elk sign, but I haven't found a single uh, brown elk shed yet. So let's get this picked up and see what else we can turn up in here. Well, I've been following some elk tracks. I still just have these two deer sheds. Right here, the tracks kind of split apart. And so I was looking around. They go like three different ways. And I looked over, do you see what I see? Looks like a sweet brownie. <laughs> yes. Nice. Man, they're super light color out here in the cedars. I hope I can match this thing up. That's been off for a little while, but that's a sweet one. Let me get some pictures. Clearly, this might be like his bedding area. Let me do a pickup for you guys. Busted his third, but he's a pretty decent bull. He's got a long main beam. Let me get this camera set up and I'll pick this thing up. Huh. Super light. Probably only like a six pounder. Just a small bull. Pretty decent back end, busted third. But I'll take that all day long. Let's see what else we can turn up in here. Well, just looping around in here. Looks like I got another ragger. Ah, there's another one right there. So there's three little raghorns just right in here. Well, pretty good day after work, found six sheds. That's just a little five point, barely a six. I don't know if it's the match. The front looks different. And that one's just a little five point, but they're all from last year or two years old. They're not browns. So just been missed in this little pocket. Well, I'm out here after work, hiking around. I just bumped two shed bulls. There are rubs 
everywhere, but I have not been able to find any elk sheds, but I got a deer shed spotted right down there. Looks like an older one, maybe. Tips have been chewed off. Would have been a pretty sweet buck. He's actually pretty heavy. Probably about one and three quarter pounder almost. Almost two pounds. Pretty massive. Well, that means I'm maybe finally in a little area. There might be some other deer sheds or something. Let's see what we can turn up. I just came up out of that wash. Someone's been riding a quad down on the bottom there. And look what I just walked up on. I was getting frustrated because those quad tracks were down there. So I thought, screw it, I'm gonna jump up on this ridge. I just made the smartest decision. <laughs> I still just have this uh, deer shed. But look at that elk shed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a nine pointer. If you count those little tiny points. Holy crap. That thing is a giant. I gotta match that bull up. <laughs> that thing is so freaking awesome. Let me get a picture. Let me get this thing picked up for you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that bull. Holy crap. Look at that thing. That's got to be like a 12 to 15 pounder. Super cupped out on the base. Look at that thing. That is so freaking awesome. I got to mark this spot on my map. We got to see what else we can find in here. Look at that brown. Check that freaking out. <laughs> Look at this bull, you guys. Look at that freaking antler. Look at that back end. <laughs> that is the coolest thing I've ever freaking seen. I gotta find the other side of this thing. That thing is freaking, that's gotta be at least a 12 to 15 pound antler right there. He's probably at least a 52 to 55 inch main beam. But look at that. What a sweet bull. I never shed hunt this area. I just stopped in after work and man, I just got super lucky. You guys, <laughs> this lucky hat might have paid off today. I got this giant right here. I've been looping around trying to find the other side. Can you see what's back there? I might have just matched this thing up. Let, let me flip this around. Let's... <laughs> I haven't even looked at it yet. Let me turn this I've off. I've got this giant right here I picked up. I've been looping around up on top of this ridge and I just out of luck decided to come back over this way. Do you see that other brown sitting right there? It's the right side. I mean, it's the left side and it looks like it's got seven points. Let's go check it out. If I just match this bull up, this is the biggest set I think I've ever found. I never find elk sheds in this unit. This is one of my deer spots. I don't know, this might be a, I can't tell, this, this is him, this is him. Oh my gosh. Look at that set. Look at that set. 
Oh my gosh. Pretty crappy lighting. I hope it's okay. It's just super cloudy. I just matched that bull up. This is my biggest set I think I've ever picked up. Look at that thing. Man, he just has a super tiny third on this left side. But that's got to be him. He's got the same stuff coming off. Look at the back end. It's almost identical. Man, let me get this picked up for you guys. This is so freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Yes. Those quad tracks down on the bottom made me come up out of that. Look at that bull. Holy crap, this right side's way heavier. Look at this thing. Look at that bull. We're just matching up giants after work, boys. Look at that. Well, it's in the morning, the wind's starting to blow a little bit. This pile here is actually all my weekend stuff. So I was gonna post that video, but then I found these giants. And so this is kind of gonna take precedence this week. I picked up all these after work this week, except for these cutoffs. A friend of mine brought me this deadhead buck just super tall those g2 g3s he's got a decent g4 on this side just weak on his main beam on this side but they're super heavy and massive too just a super cool buck just got hit by a truck but this setup here will be this week's sheds just because i'm so excited to show this set to you guys and then next week probably unless i do two two videos or something i'll post this is saturday and sunday sheds from last weekend if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, thanks for tuning in this week. You can hit this icon right here, the circle, and you can be subscribed to the channel. If you want to get caught up on our past two weeks' videos, these links in the corners here will catch you up on the past two weeks' videos. As always, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll catch you guys later.